Sunday, March 16, 2014, Toa Payoh Vets. This cat, female, 10 months old, came in for spaying on this Sunday morning. She has been rolling and making a lot of noises three days ago, but has cooled down today. So the reason would be caterwauling, and the solution is spaying to prevent any more of this uh, noisy behaviour as sometimes the, the other neighbours may think that uh, the cat is being abused. So now I'm going to the going to the surgery room to show you what I, I use for spaying. Now in in many years in practice, I find that these two drugs, xylazine and ketamine, injectable anesthesia, I am, is sufficient for cat spay. For a 3.6 kg young female cat, I use xylazine 0.15 ml and then uh, plus ketamine at uh, 0.6 ml. These two will be put in a syringe totaling 0.75 plus 0.6 ketamine should be 0.75 and I find that if I spay within 5 minutes of injection, there is no need to top up with isoferrin gas. But if I delay, then obviously I need to top up. So much depends on how organised the vet is. Uh, if, if, they're, if they're well organised, then to, this will be sufficient. Zelazine 20 and ketamine 100 at 0 0.75 ml combined. That means 0 0.1 ml zelazine, 1, 0.15 ml zelazine plus 0 0.6 ml ketamine for a 3.6 kg cat, young female cat or spay. The duration is about 20 minutes. Duration and energy is here. Then uh, normally I just use one packet of Polysop 3.0 absorbable and uh, there, there's no need to use two packets. After that, I, after that uh, removal of the ovaries and uterus, I stitch up the muscle and skin using just one packet would do. And uh, then I put a plaster to cover up the surgical wound. Usually I use horizontal mattress sutures to close the skin. Now I'm going to operate on this cat and, and we'll, and we'll uh, report later to Bio Vets 16-2014 Sunday 10-11am Cat Spay